how many multicast addresses are used by OSPF. OSPF actually uses two multicast addresses. One is 224.0.0.5. The second one is dot six. Actually, all routing protocols, they use multicast address except RIP routing protocol, which uses broadcast. It's an old type of routing protocol. So OSPF uses dot five and dot six, but why two multicast addresses? Why not one? Because this type dot five, which is more common, we use actually OSPF uses for a specific purpose. So all OSPF routers, including there are three types actually, designated router, backup designated, and three are other, which means everyone else. So all OSPF routers, they send hello messages on this multicast address. Secondly, all OSPF routers send and receive as well, which means they are listening. Multicast means only specific people will receive, right? Only specific routers or interfaces will receive which want to receive which have enabled that address. This is the difference between multicast and broadcast. Broadcast, we don't have a choice. We have to receive. Everyone has to receive. So both dot five, all type of OSPF routers, they listen and then they send as well. So this is a must thing. Then in addition to that, the third type, all DR and BDR, they send link state update and link state LSAs on dot five. Now dot six. <clears throat> dot six means all DR others, which means non DR, non BDR. There are three types: DR, BDR, and everyone else, which means DR other. So all DR other routers they send their LSAs on dot six. Then all DR and BDR they listen on dot six, which means DR other will send and drbdr will listen this whole process actually that why they are sending on this one why they are this is internal mechanism which i have explained already to you guys in these previous topics in which we discussed this lab in detail and which type of lsa is being sent to who who is receiving on which type of network broadcast multicast non broadcast or point to point so these two multicast addresses are being used right so I hope it's clear to you guys. Also, if you want to go through in detail, then you can go through this short video, which I made for you guys that how to OSPF routers, they become neighbor of each other. You can zoom into here and you will find that which multicast address is being used by who for what purpose and what is the role of DR and BDR. And if you are not clear about DR and BDR, I have also made a short video on DR and BDR. You guys can go through it as well. Let me show you this one. That why we need a DR and BDR. So it solves two type of problems. Means it reduces the number of adjacencies plus it reduces the link state advertisement flooding. So this is a detailed topic. Another short video has been made on it. So two multicast addresses, very important point for the interviews. You guys need to remember that who uses which of these multicast addresses.